There are some secrets in Spider-Man 2 that are very well hidden. You likely don't know that you can do these things, so let's start by talking about a new look for Miles. Because while I think we can agree he has some pretty badass suits, you can make him look even cooler by adding a lightning effect on top of it. Shout out to Isaiah in our comments for sharing this visual bug you can trigger during the bird drone chases, so the unidentified targets marked by this icon on the map. Before you enter the activity though, make sure Miles' ultimate meter is full as we need to trigger this ability at the end of the activity. So after you press triangle to snatch the bird drone, repeatedly press R3 and L3 to trigger your ultimate. If you do it right, you'll see Miles building up the charge before transitioning into a cutscene. But he'll still have electricity sparking around him with a bright glow emitting from his chest and electrified veins on his arms. Now this effect only remains when you stay still, as soon as you move the arms lose it. But the glow in your chest still shows and the sparks of electricity will also remain. Main. And then, this effect remains active for as long as you want it. You can swing around, switch suits, and even go into combat with this overcharged look on Miles. Even using abilities does not make the effect go away, the only thing that does is activating your ultimate ability again. So keep that in mind if you don't want the lightning to disappear. So yeah, if you have some of these unidentified targets left on your map, definitely try this out for yourself to make Miles look even cooler. But once you grab all of the bird drones, there's also a cool easter egg waiting for you. You'll get the location for an apartment in New York which has a very nice piano sitting in one of the corners. When you approach it, a voice memo will trigger and music will start to play. This piece of music is Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, it also literally says so on the sheet music on the piano. And it's not the first time this piece is used in Spider-Man media, as it has also played over the intro for the Web of Shadows game. A game that, coincidentally, also happened to involve a black suit for Peter and a lot of symbiotes. So I think that voice recording saying that we remember this refrain is Insomniac breaking the fourth wall to acknowledge the connection. Really cool find from that guy that games in our comments, thanks for sharing. Another cool easter egg with multiple layers is the Bodega B photo opportunity you do near the start of the game. The cat mascot is of course a reference to the cat Spider-Man from Teo's Bodega, which is where the Bodega cat suit also came from in Miles Morales. But the imposter cat on the right actually has a slightly different mask on as well, which bears a striking resemblance to Ben Riley's Scarlet Spider suit, as noted by Jonah in our comments. With Ben being a clone of Peter and the right mascot being an imposter, it's of course very fit but there is even more to this easter egg. If you stick around for a while, and you can do that even after taking the picture by simply going to this location on the map, you might begin to recognize the voices of these mascots. Because they are voiced by Nathan Fillion and Alan Tudyk, as confirmed by Brian Intihar in an interview with Entertainment Weekly. You've probably heard Fillion before as Kate 6 in Destiny or Buck in Halo, and Tudyk voiced the sassy droid K2SO in Rogue One. Intihar also notes Insomniac brought them in because because they wanted to be part of the next game, so who knows, we might see them again in a bigger role. And we have way more hidden secrets of course, if you've enjoyed the video so far, leaving a like would really help us out, and subscribe to not miss our next Spidey video. To stick with the feline theme a bit, did you know there's a very special creature you can pet if you go to the zoo in downtown Brooklyn? By going over to this spot on the map, so behind the domed structure, you might find a very calm tiger lying here. Whether or not it shows up depends on your story progression as it's not just any tiger but Craven's pet Dima who you also see during the mission the flames have been lit. If you come here as Peter you can even interact and pet the beast but sadly Miles does not have an interaction. Credits for this find go to Silver Surge Gaming, a link to their channel will be in the description. And I think it's really cool that we get to see more of these unique interactions for both Peter and Miles, if you found any more please let us know in the comments. And while I've already showed you some amazing finds from our community, this next one might be my favorite. Michael told us to go and visit Pizza Amigos in Astoria, which is over here on the map, and keep our ears open for a familiar sound. Took me a bit to recognize it, but anyway, have a listen.
Again, this is another piece of classical music that has been used in Spider-Man media before. In this case, it is an Italian piece called Funiculi Funicula by Luigi Denza. While the original version you just heard is very well known, it also served as the inspiration for the pizza delivery minigame soundtrack for the Spider-Man 2 movie tie-in game. Even if you didn't play that one, high chance you've heard the song before thanks to its popularity in internet culture. Either way, the original can be listened to at Pizza Amigos in Astoria and other pizzerias in the area too. You can even switch tracks by opening and closing your map, although I'm definitely keeping Funiculi on full blast as soon as it starts playing. You have to be pressed up against the store to hear it though, so sadly you cannot play these songs while you move around the city. But once you're done listening to this masterpiece, I recommend you also take a short trip to Midtown. Because as noted by Chef Venom in our comments, just like in the first Spidey, there is an Insomniac Games building you can find in Spidey's New York over here on the map to be precise. They did update the logo in between games and thanks to Spidey 2's more advanced tech, there is now more going on inside as well. No hints for the plot of Spidey 3 from what I could see, but at least they seem to be hard at work. And there are many wonderful companies in New York you can work for, including a certain Rand Corporation. Yes, there is no end to the references to other heroes as Danny Rand, aka Iron Fist, supposedly also exists in Insomniac Story. During the BV Club Fair mission for Miles, you have to rescue one of the teachers at Brooklyn Visions. While you try to free her, you can catch a short part of her interrogation where she mentions that she worked for the Rand Corporation. Thanks to Parzibees for letting us know about this one. Now this next secret is very well hidden as you can only reach the secret room related to Craven by going out of bounds. If you glitch under the map and web swing and glide to a very specific spot over here on the map, you can find an area that was ultimately scrapped from the game. It shows a throne that would have clearly belonged to Craven, and behind him are wall mounts displaying the heads of Shocker, Vulture, Scorpion and Rhino. Full credit to CLKZ on YouTube for this find, which caused quite a lot of speculation over Rhino's eventual fate, as this room of course implies that Craven hunted him down. But I think these assets are from a previous draft of the story, which means these head trophies have no implications for the actual story of the game. The approach to the room and the room itself kind of remind me of a rough draft of bad guys on the block, where you eventually see the video of Craven killing Scorpion. An alternate reveal could have been introducing Craven on his throne with the heads of four Spidey One villains mounted on the wall behind him. I don't recommend going to the spot yourself though, you can't even get into the room and have to wiggle your way in with photo mode, plus apart from the trophies and throne, there is nothing to see. Much more fun is to use this out of bound glitch for some trippy photo mode shots, which you can achieve by going to this spot on the map in the financial district and just dropping through the ground close to the fence here. So you can use that to reach that secret Craven room I just mentioned or again to take some weird pictures. Another great trick for some awesome shots is making use of one of Peter's unique stunt poses. In case you don't know, if you dive with L3, then hold square and back on the analog stick, Peter will pull out a Rubik's Cube, of course a reference to Spider-Man Noir from Into the Spider-Verse. But unlike your other stunt animations, this one actually has an end as when you fall for long enough, you will complete the cube and Peter will proudly display his little project. The best place to perform this trick is in the financial district by climbing this specific very tall building. Stand at the edge, perform a charge jump, dive down and pull out the Rubik's Cube. You should have enough airtime from this height to complete it before you hit the ground. And by the way, credits to Kabuki Sage for the discovery, you can find a link to their channel in the description. Now for this next one, we're going to make use of another glitch to get out of bounds, although this time we're doing it with someone who's not supposed to explore the entirety of New York. Because during the FNSM request Graffiti Trouble, which starts over here on the map, you'll be playing as Miles' girlfriend Haley. Shortly after helping a cat retrieve its toy, you'll have an opportunity to glitch out of bounds and explore the entirety of the map. Go up the stairs to your right to the elevator and write it down. This will allow you to continue on the right path until you eventually reach this stack of construction equipment. From here, you can glitch on top of the toolbox and then the beams of wood so you can jump over the fence and explore the map. Now, since you're not supposed to be here, there's not much you can do. Although it is kind of cool to experience the city as a regular citizen, which makes everything feel much, much bigger. You can still throw rocks like during the mission, although not at other people, and there is one 
one object you can actually interact with. Unfortunately, that object is the bicycle in Astoria, which is miles away. So I don't really recommend trying this glitch for yourself. With Haley being the slowest and least mobile playable character, it's not worth the time it takes for just a bike ride. Credits for this trick go to OOB Vault on YouTube. We'll link their channel in the video description. But there is another out of bound glitch that I think is worth it, but to talk about it, I need to get into spoilers for the main story. If you haven't finished the main mission, don't be scared. I recommend you come back to this video later. Okay, if you're still here, you probably already have an idea what we are going to talk about. Because during the mission Don't Be Scared, you're of course playing as Venom, so I hope you have a safe close to this point. Because there is a trick you can do to get out of bounds and explore the whole city as this monstrosity. The glitch was discovered by YouTuber LMN, so I'll link to their video on how to get out of bounds if you want to try it yourself. Once you get out, you'll see that like with Haley, there are civilians out on the streets, but very few things you can interact with as Venom. So if you were hoping to tackle some Mysteriums as the big guy, I'm sorry to disappoint. But with Venom being a lot faster than Haley, crossing the bridge over to Astoria to take a ride on a bike is definitely worth it. And yeah, honestly, I don't know why this is possible either. The animation is absolute nightmare fuel, but it's one of the few things Venom can actually interact with. The other thing you can do is head over to the Wakandan Embassy over here on the map, because just like Miles, Venom can perform the Wakandan salute in front of the building. Again, it's a pretty cursed image, but at least it allows for unique photo mode opportunities. As a final tip, steer clear of water when playing as Venom. While you don't die when coming into contact with it, Venom can get stuck in the river and become unable to jump, ending your little tourist strip of New York. Which might be a bit of karma for me trying to glitch in the first place, as it also goes without saying that neither of these last two tricks are supposed to be possible. I'm guessing they will be patched out with future updates. We'll of course let you know if anything changes in an update video, so subscribe to make sure you don't miss it. And of course, at the end of every video, we highlight some of the coolest community screenshots from our Discord. If you want to participate yourself, link to the Discord will be in the pinned comment. And Joyce, come in, show us which awesome shots you've chosen this time. Yes, thanks, Dennis. What's up, everyone? Let's start with Godfiend, who created a very on point shot using the Thunderbolt to their advantage as if Peter found his true calling. Kind of reminds me of a famous painting. Next up, we've got City of Saints, who wants to show off with all of Peter's webbed enemies on his own created web line. This actually made me laugh. I mean, look at how proud he is. And my favorite of the bunch is from Rage Tributes, who took this amazing close-up shot of Venom. Look at the details on this one. It's absolutely terrifying, but also very epic. Thanks as always, Joyce. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to not miss the next one, and watch our previous video on more secrets and Easter eggs by clicking on the screen. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.